That was pretend sound I made until Twitch told me I was live, which it now has. Hello and welcome to the stream. Um, one really quick uh, issue is uh, today, unfortunately, I do have to live some portion of my life that is non-trivial. That requires me, I, which I can't do while streaming. Well, maybe I could, but it'd be weird. Um, so anyway, we have a hard actually, it's more like an 85 minute limit today. Uh, I will need to stop at 1830 UTC regardless of what's happening. Uh, unless, of course, the uh, thing that my life I uh, need to do somehow gets changed. Okay, so um, last time we were looking at our app, and it was working, kind of. We had two problems with it, one of which I forgot to write down. One is that it wasn't very accurate. I was using a formula for right ascension and declination that is known not to be accurate and doesn't account for the equation of time. Uh, so I could either try to find a more accurate um, De, you know, a more uh, accurate approximation of declination right ascension, or we could combine this with another project, see how that whole wow, two projects together thing works, um, and use the interpolation we had earlier for very accurate declination and right ascension, though we will be limited uh, in terms of time, because that interpolation I think only applies until the year 2030 or 2040, so this is not an app that will necessarily continue to work over all time, but at some point, of course, there's um, there's other factors as well. You know, actually, the sun's path or, or in the zodiac, um, if you allow for precession, is actually um, is actually pretty stable. However, I don't know. I think we're using J2000 coordinates for our stars, so we really are effectively using J2000 coordinates for the sun. In other words, that's that's what we're getting. Uh, and so w what we don't want to do there is we, you know, w even if we could make the app, it would be nice if we could go out to like 2100, maybe even the year 2500. But beyond that, procession would become an issue anyway. Okay, so what we're going to be doing here, ooh. Um, and the other problem was our interface looks really ugly, and we want to make it look nicer. In particular, we, I, you know, we want to let people enter if they absolutely want to degrees and hours, minutes and seconds, and even and even hours in that format. And it would be nice to have a pull down or auto complete list of cities and stars uh, that they gives them some sort of starting point uh, to work with. Um, so now we're gonna do something, um, I'm gonna try to run a framework, you know, in JavaScript, but the weird thing is I actually have learned part of it. I actually, on free code camp, I completed part of that course and stopped. It's possible that the part of the course I'm looking for, uh, the part of what I'm looking for is in the stuff I've already studied or can be easily derived from there. So I'm hoping this part will go fairly quickly, um, although, again, very rarely do things go the way I plan. Uh, once we do that, we will actually use the React uh, in this uh, application that we've written on Replit and, and see if that, if that we make it a little bit prettier. And honestly, um, if we can't, uh, we're really going for proof of concept. We heavily disclaim everything we post on Stack Exchange, saying this is not like a production application. This is an application to show you that the problem is solvable. Um, so I'm already regretting the idea of using React, but React itself has some interesting concepts as well. So let's go ahead and go there. I'm also regret. I regret everything. Um, you know, I I'm not 100% happy with being alive. I think maybe, you know, my mom kind of messed that up. Could have, could have, you know, life I in general sucks. All right, um, I actually do have login already, but um, unfortunately, they will only send it to me um, via my, this is a registered email address, and if you want to write to it, be my guest. So they're going to email me a short code. I'm going to very dangerously show the short code here on stream no one actually gives a damn because they can't can't use it again anyway uh, and then we'll get into free code camp and we'll see how far I've gotten in react uh, and I'm curious too actually I don't I'm, it's like more than halfway but but you know not necessarily a great amount of the way so I'm on my other machine now waiting for email which is uh, how I spend much of my life um, so let's just there we go here's the here's the um, and I can't cut and paste it I keep remembering that six eight nine oh eight six 
689086. This will not help you at all hack into anything. And if it does, it's a free code count. Free code camp account. You're not going to get very far. Okay. Um, oh, I'll give you a sec. Nope, 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 nope. It's none of this crap. It is one of the um, front end libraries. So Bootstrap and jQuery, I presumably know really well, but I don't really because I've forgotten them all. React 34 out of 47. So this is this is what we're going to be looking at today. Um, I'm hoping that it'll jog my memory, although I don't know why I think I'm hoping that. Um, also, well, that's not good. Uh, success, you have signed into your account. Well, okay. Um, now, wait. I... This might be bad. I thought I would see the existing code that I'd rewritten. This does not look too good. Uh, let me see if I can... Okay. Um, so... Uh-oh, we, we have possible badness occurring. Okay. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I didn't realize Facebook wrote this. Now, someone else suggested I use Flutter, and it's probably more powerful, but it looks very, very hard to learn. Um... It's like, there's no sort of like, here's two lines of Flutter that do something. It's like, first you have to learn about this concept, then this concept, then this concept. Then you might think about writing an app. And again, I could be misrepresenting Flutter. If you are a Flutter fan, um, do let me know if I'm, I'm misrepresenting it here. Okay, so let's see. Um, Jesus, this is really ugly today. Okay. Um... Okay. Um, so this is Jesus. Oh, there is no higher to this, is there? Okay. So why don't we go a little bit further than this? I was hoping, um, I was really hoping that it would show me the code I'd already written. And uh, there is a download my data here, so maybe I'll do that. And I was I was hoping not to have to do that, but. Um, I don't have a portfolio. That's me. I don't want anyone to see me, though. Um, okay, this is very unlikely this is going to help anything. But... Uh, always save JSON files. And I don't know if this is going to have the code I've written. And I don't know what private information it's going to have, so I'm going to have to look at it somewhere else. Sorry. Um, if it doesn't have any really bad private information, I will... I will put it back over here, um, and we can look at it from here. But I let's see if it's um, it's my code. It's my code. It's my code. Few times. Oh wow! It actually doesn't appear to have any of my code in here. Um, it does tell me when I completed these challenges. Oh, hang on. Nope, no code. So that was fairly useless. All right, so we're, good, we're up to a good start here. We've done something fairly useless, and I think we can plan on doing something even more useless. Oh, Jesus Christ, I am signed in, you monkeys. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Okay. Um, so let's go to render HTML elements in the DOM. That sounds like it's something we want to do. God damn it. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, although I don't know if it's going to... Really? I don't know if it's going to last if I bring up other pages. Um, okay, so there's a concept of components here. Um, um, okay, let's see. Create a rack components. We're, we're going to skip around a little bit until we find something uh, that's not completely useless. Okay, so class. Okay, the other way to define a React component. Uh, render. That's ugly. I don't want to do it that way. Um, a stateless functional. Ooh. Okay. So the React component we're looking for here um is going to be like a autofill I don't know if, if that is a react component and I don't know if we're supposed to create them on our own or we're supposed to use existing uh, uh react components it would be nice to use existing 
React components, partly because I'm not really into interfaces and creating my own interfaces. Um, uh, class fruit, Jesus Christ, dudes. Um, uh, okay, and then, so I guess so this is like a... Um, um, wow. Um, I mean, I see what I need to do here. I need to change, I guess, um, the props of whatever it is that are given here. This is not good looking. Um, sort of props, fruits, type of food, exchange. So it calls that, renders that type of food. Then how do we, how do we actually, like, r oh, the component renders itself. Do we actually create it at any point? Do we construct it? Um, these are questions I don't know anything about. All right, so let's look for a React autocomplete, uh, whatever they call their stupid things. Um, component. Eh. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, the predefined set of values, advantageous to, okay, so this is, um, um, Okay, so now we kind of need to learn how to install whatever the frick this is. Um, okay. Okay, so this looks like a good component. Um, the really cool thing would be finding how to use it. So obviously we have to download it at some point. Um, and since we're using Replit, we actually have to, you know, put it on Replit. Replit might actually include some, um, might include React by itself, and then it might also include, um, um, it might include some libraries like Autocomplete. So this is good stuff. Um, check language, edit with toggle. Uh, this is the, okay, so the GitHub re repository might actually be where we want to be. All right, let's go back to Replit here and see if we can add anything to our program that's uh, useful. And maybe not. I'm just, uh, you know, you never know. Um, that's not where we do that, though. Be gone. Crap, be gone from this place. Okay. Nope, that's not what I want to do either. I do like the way that newer um, newer um, programs are becoming more and more for illiterate people and they're getting harder and harder to use for us who actually can read. And I don't like that. That's probably just me. There is a way to install... Is it settings? It might be settings. No. Packages. Here we go. Uh, let's see if we can do auto come... Ooh, React Autocomplete. Um, and there's apparently more than one option. Um, and it looks like we don't necessarily even need React, which I'm. I guess I want to try to avoid that. So let's go ahead and do this. And now what this should do is put in, but it might be invisible. It actually changes, I think, index.html. Um, add package, you betcha. And all that does is basically add the script source. Um, and honestly, it doesn't really matter that we're pulling it from a, a CDN, a content delivery network. Uh, and let's see, do I want to... Is this the highest level script source that I have? I could have sworn it was script source. Whoa, 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 whoa. All oh, right, this is autocomplete. This is actually a new... A thing we haven't written before. This is not our Heliacal Rising program. Okay. Okay, fantastic. So now the question becomes, how do we use the bloody thing? Okay, so we have all this. Um, so I guess there's an HTML version of it. Let's see if we can get the, um, the JavaScript version of autocomplete. So now, screw this, 
screw this. Oh right, this isn't this is actually a JavaScript library, isn't it? Um not a React library. So um let's go ahead and I'm just closing off some stuff we don't need because it gets ugly. Um Okay. So what we're looking for here is autocomplete.js. I'll say tutorial, but we, anything really. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm not using. Uh, I I know how to use jQuery a little bit, at least according to Free Code Camp. Whoa, number two problem of the week at one point. Um, pure vanilla, blah 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 blah. Who cares? Nope, nope. All got already installed. We're all happy. Um, here we go. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ, I don't want to use your... I guess I might have to use the style sheet here. Um, um, why, oh why is this so difficult? Okay, okay, hang on. So this is... Um, So we only need the data one because we're going to sort of go local here. Although it's nice that we have the option to go to, 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 an, to an alternate place. Um, but this looks pretty complicated. Um, constant query await source JSON. Just OK. So are we assigning data.data .data here? Okay. Wow, this looks complicated. Um, for what I believe should be a fairly simple uh, library. Um, so let's see. So starting out here, this. Blah, blah, blah. This is ugly but doable. This is where. This is where. Okay, so we say this. That's fine. Uh, we assume that they're doing this for us. I knew. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <coughs> double. Excuse me. So this is pretty, pretty ugly here. Um, the source just needs to be an array, which we can do. We can do that part. So I don't think I like this yet. Um, now, if there's a jQuery autocomplete, we could probably use that instead. Um, um Okay. That's not too bad. Okay. Hmm. Hey. Okay. So this this is not that ugly. It appears to be built into jQuery at least. Um, so you have a function that returns. Um, okay, that it assigns uh, uh, it assigns a an array, and then it does this magic here. Well, that's not too bad actually. That's actually quite doable. Um, that's actually pretty nice. Okay. 
Um, now the question is, so this is just a, okay, this is a function and then you like magically activate the function. Okay, so don't, oh. So we probably don't need this even in a function, do we? Unless I'm missing something. This is probably a, a, an HTML tag, which is fine. Okay, so let's go mini mini on this. We will obviously have to define a, uh, an HTML uh, ID thing that has this. So let's just do this. Now, am I using jQuery? No, this is going to be interesting. Is whether I'm not, uh, whether I'm using jQuery or not, I might not be. Okay, so let's just see if this code autocomplete sources that, and we just need semicolon there. I don't think this is going to run. Yep. Um, so I need to go back here. We're not going to use this guy. Um, it's interesting. All right, we are going to use jQuery, though, and I think to do that we need to include it in our package list. No, I don't. I want. I want to the search jQuery. Okay, now magically it should still break. Oh, son of a bitch! It worked. Okay. Now jQuery is used frequently enough that I don't mind using it. Um, a B C, one two three, easy as A B C. So this should be sort of a minimal way of doing it. We don't have auto pleat m pleat defined, but that's a different issue. Um, ooh. Um. Okay. Uh, sign, da da da, is not a function. Is that just because I don't have something called auto uh, complete one? So let's go do that. Um, you know what? Actually, our select ID is going to remain select. We're very, <laughs> we're, very <laughs> we're very, very literal here. All right. Um. No, 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 you freaking morons. I have to do that. Autocomplete is not a function. Okay. Um, no, it is not a function. Can I just... Can I just do this? Show me the magic. Okay. Um, so is this how you select the select tag there? But now it's going to tell me it's not a function. All right, let's go back to this uh, very simple UI here. Um, oh, does the source have to be... A, okay, let's see. Dollar sign vla autocomplete something. And then a source... The only one thing it could be complaining about is that your source cannot be um, cannot be a, a hard coded array. It has to be a function. Uh, other than that, uh, well, actually, hang on. Let's go back over here. So, function. Um, well, okay. Let's copy their whole whole example. Let's not get too minimal here. Let's copy their whole, whole uh, their whole example, and except we'll just change it to select for ourselves. So we don't need to put this in in script tags because we're already in a raw JavaScript. And this is actually still pretty nice if it works like right now. And let's, I'm hoping select. This is select by um, by ID. Ooh 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 ooh. Let's see what that does, though. It did not create a. Um, wow, there's there's something it doesn't really like there. Deferred autocomplete is not a function. 
Okay, so do I need to load something? I might need to load something else. Let's, let's actually go over here and load the something else that we need to load. Getting a little bit too excited here. So, oh yeah, okay, we need jQuery. These should already be in there. Um, all right, so I need jQuery UI. And I might need this theme. I might need this CSS. So let's go back over here. Um, back to search. Oh, wait a minute. Did I not add jQuery? I must have added it, though. Otherwise, it w none of this would have worked. jQuery UI, which should come with freaking jQuery. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Nope. That's what I want. So wait. Did I actually add jQuery? I mean, I must have, right? Otherwise... I could have sworn I already... Okay, yeah, I already did that. Um, Alright, let's see what doesn't like it. Autocomplete is not a function. Alright, let's go ahead and Google that. And we're actually going to Google it in... in jQuery. Okay, so this is the problem. jQuery UI... JS is not being loaded. Um, wow. So it is the fact that the Replit people, uh, if you're listening to this, which I can't imagine you are, you do not apparently load this uh, jQuery UI library that is also needed. Um, I don't Because you're morons. I don't know. Can't, can't really... Oh, no mirrors! Um... Okay, so not... not... So, probably we don't want the rest of the, uh, the freaking, um... Oh, actually, this is not going to be the select ID, it's going to be the text ID, isn't it? Because, um... Yeah, sorry. It's going to be the text that we're auto-completing. The select is our sort of clunky way of doing it. Let's do this. Rock and roll, baby. Okay, what's really interesting here is it's using um, something I... I'm confused. Um, whoa. Okay, where did it get... Oh, right, right, because we defined it here. That's fine. Okay, that's cool. Um, so now let me go back to the thing that I probably shouldn't have deleted. See if we can find it again. Okay. So now let's see if we can do it like this. And I think we can get rid of our select button now. Um, and this is a very ugly way to do it. In fact, it's so ugly I probably shouldn't be doing it at all. I'm going to comment it out in HTML, which is technically correct. But the problem is it's sort of still in there. Okay. Now we'll do this. Console's unhappy. Select is null. Okay. Well, that is... Oh, right, because I'm actually still using it here. Um... So come at this out, come at this out. We probably need to get rid of the listener on text. Okay, rock and roll. All right, no problem there. Wait, it's not actually choosable now, is it? Okay, so the, I think the reason it's not choosable is because we need to use their style sheet. So I am okay with doing that. Um, and hopefully that, that's the only problem we have. Um, so this is sort of a minimalist approach. Run away. Booyah! Not very exciting because of course our, all of our options are pretty small. Okay, um, 
Now, there's a lot of things we need to do. One thing we need to do here is we need to uh, get a list that is meaningful. And number two, we need to find a way of setting these option values because we don't necessarily want the values to be exactly equal to the, uh, to the, the names that people are typing in. So vis-a-vis um, -vis the first, <laughs> they said vis-a-vis. Um, okay, let's, we do have several lists of stars. Let's find one that's appropriate for, not appropriate in the sense of adult or whatever. That's, uh, you know, reasonably small enough that we can um, uh, do something with it. I, okay. Okay, so I guess it's going to be like CSV. Yes, I don't think this is correct, actually. Oh, it is technically. It's a it's a file that tells you how far. The, the, these things worry me. Um. Um. I I'm gonna regret this. Yep. I thought I was gonna regret this. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna ignore those for right now. Um. Okay. So text text bz. Um, let's just look for the word star. Right, it starts star, name, mass, pause. I think this, however, might be the very large list. Ooh, sorry, BZ less. This might be the very large list of, this is the HYG data list, which is, like, freaking huge. It's a good list, but, um... It's like 120,000 or something, and um, and it's good, but it's maybe a little bit excessive for our purposes here today. Uh, there is a smaller list. I think this is it. Uh, yeah, this is it. This list has like 16, the 1628 uh, visible stars according to the, this is a very old catalog that people did of visible stars. And this actually looks like it could be changed into JavaScript very easily. Um, hmm, I don't think the way it is right now it is considered JavaScript, um, but it's, it's an array of stars, and, um, and yeah, I don't think we're to find, I don't think there's a raw version of this, although it sort of doesn't matter because the raw version is also not going to be that helpful. So let's go ahead and convert this. Let's go use a little pro magic here to convert this into a JavaScript array or something very close to a JavaScript array. Um, so what we'll do here, and we're going to use the, this is a comma separated file, so we're going to use f comma. We are going to have to edit the file a little bit after we're done. Um, but I, I think 90% of the work can be done by Paul. So we want to print the first field. And let's see what that looks like. Is that right? This is what we want. Okay. Um, obviously, we don't want the bracket at the start. So we can do... Um, that. And... We want a comma at the end. So we'll say print F0, comma. Except we won't. Because... Oh. Okay, so this looks pretty good, actually. This is almost, this I think this is ready to use. There's going to be an extra comma at the end, of course, and we need to clean it up a little bit, but let's see how many words. If this isn't too many words, I'll just, yeah, 15,000 isn't too much. Um, unless I have a stars.js. Let me see what I have in already in JS. I don't want to kind of, oh, I don't have anything in JS. Okay, and then when emacs stars. Oh, actually, we don't have to emacs it. We're right here. Astro stars.js. Stars equal begin array, no end comma, end array, and of course we want to do, hey, we want to do, hey, your mama, I want to do autofill, you piece of crap. There we go. Um, and I think I just okay this is actually not great this will give us the whole list of stars um, but we're gonna have to modify it very soon because we also want to get a list of values this is just going to give us auto completion on star um, 
star names, but it, it doesn't associate them with the values. Technically, we could use that by translating the values in a later function. I would, however, like to use autocomplete if, oh, actually, maybe autocomplete can't do that. Uh, maybe maybe, I, maybe we do need to make that somewhere else. But anyway, let's go ahead and upload this. Um, and whenever I upload something, I copy it to temp. So it's easier to find, easier to upload, and easier to wash. Thanks to um, Downey. I don't know. All right. Okay, there it is. It's not that big. I don't think it's a problem. We will need to scriptify it. Um, I guess anywhere before um, this one is fine. Um, you apparently can't end script tags with just putting like a, you know, like we end some some self tags. Can't do that. So let's go back over here to script.js. Um, stars. Hey, if this works, I'm going to save it. Okay. And unfortunately, I, I'm not using the proper names of stars, unfortunately. So this is just going to be gamma, you know, gamma. Not great, not great. Not a great list of stars. Let me see if we can find a better one. But if not, I'm actually happy with, you know, just getting this to work the way we want. And then... Um, and then, uh, sorry, some spammers bugging me and I have to kind of keep jumping around a little bit. Um, not in chat, somewhere else. Somewhere magical. So let's see if Beetlejuice is mentioned in any of these. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Equator chords, talk to me. This was 88912 stars, which is still not too bad. But I think the problem here is going to be, mm, I don't know how many of them have names. And maybe this is going to be too few stars, although we could like blend the two lists together. That's not that hard to do. OK. Um, OK, that was some pretty easy autocomplete. And we actually might just want to put in like the more famous stars into this. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So autocomplete's working now. Um, oh, I said I was going to save this, and I will. I'll even push it to Git, uh, because uh, I like pushing stuff to Git. And I will misspell autocomplete on purpose, just to annoy people who are very pedantic. Okay, uh, console still complaining about something? Script error, script error, script error. If you say script error three times, a script error will show up. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. Um... Interesting. So now the question is, once someone has actually done the autocomplete, uh, how do we... Um, I guess that's one of the problems we always have. So it's like, oh, I don't want any of these, so we can just go out here. That's fine. But if you actually choose an autocomplete, we, we need a callback function. I use the word callback function. I'm so smart. Okay, so let's look at the autocomplete documentation. And let's actually, since we're using it, let's go ahead and pin it. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll complete options. Action. Um, I'll display the options parameters. Okay. So we're using it right now. Oh. Oh. That is shiny. Um, okay. Unfortunately, for this case, we actually need to set two values, right ascension and declination. Um, so we're using this form. I think we're using this form right here. The word options is, um, and display the, the options, the parameters. Okay, so it's, the options is not, the word options is not the list of options that you have. It's the options to the function autocomplete. Autofocus, delay, blah, 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 who cares, who cares, who cares? Um, source. Okay, so there is, that's, that's the big deal here. Source, we've done that. Um, so are all of these things here, 
There are more than one options provided. Okay, that's kind of normal JavaScript thingy, I think. Um, append to autofocus delay. Disabled min length position source. None of that except for source. None of that stuff's important. Okay, so the source has to be an array, apparently a fixed array. Um, okay. min length and so this is nothing super I oh okay Wh what happens if you use the label I don't really see how that's different from what we're doing except in a very minimal way oh okay so the source can be okay I think I see it um so I guess the source can be an object that has a field called label instead of having to be an array of labels. That's probably useful for us um, because we actually want to have star information like right ascension and declination in addition to, of course, uh, the label. Okay. So I think the next thing we need to do is when someone actually chooses something, how do we how do we perform an action? Don't want an external store source. Uh, here we go. Perform an action on the list of oh. Um. Close, destroy, disable. Okay, that's not really cool. Option. Um. um so I'm wondering if this can be used or even should be used in in contact in. Conjunction, that's a big word, um, in conjunction with the uh, mouse listeners. So if I do this, I've got JavaScript in here. Um, and what I want to do is update the fields RA and declination from this. Um, and maybe go the other way with that. But that, that the other way is not necessarily what I want to do right now. Um, okay. So it looks like the, the, the basic features of autocomplete we already have down. Um, Delta ERIs. So now let's see if we can go back over here. Uh, not on key press, on something else. Yes. Um, on select yeah because I guess this is this is a field that's act technically it's optional because you could just type in their RA and declination yourself also I'm not happy with the fact that we're getting these script errors even though everything's working fine but I might allow myself to live with that okay so on key press call function F function F is ooh shiny it's still here no 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 don't do all that function F all you have to do now is say F U or F E actually because we want you to echo your um, that's actually not going to do what you think it does it's going to print F followed by the uh, followed by the uh, value of E it's not going to put parentheses there but hey whoa so I appear apparently I've broken the autocomplete now oh syntax uh, say where that is? Alright, screw it. Let's just console log hello. Or just console log E. I mean, I'm not gonna kill anything. Oh, is there not an end to this function? There is an end to this. Oh, but there's two ends to this function. That's what's wrong. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, so now it's at least valid JavaScript. Okay, so it doesn't seem to interfere with um, w putting in other functions, but obviously we don't want to say text on key press. We want to say text on. Well, I think actually I think actually we can get um, yeah, 
on we can get Replit to give us a list of uh, on no all this stuff on activate no I don't know what the hell that means uh, on blur on click on change not on click on user deciding thingy has happened. I guess that's an on change. Okay. All right. Let's try this once more. One more time. Oh, console's unhappy. So what actually happened there? Let's let's try this. Okay, I think we need to re we need to restart the console at the very least. Okay, so I'm going to type in "be gone." So actually, I need to do this: clear out the console. I'm going to type in type in "bet." No, not "get." "bet." And then "beta Andromeda." So that did give us just one value. Um, but the question is, well, I can't imagine it didn't give us the right value, so let's just see here, um, let's see, so I think I can just do this, E comma, I've already defined text value, and I keep forgetting if I need a frickin' If this is a, a function, let's just find out. It's a function or a piece of crap. <whistles> nice. Totally working. Okay. Uh, very nice, to the point where I'm going to not GitHub it. Well, I guess I will. And uh, pointless comment is really nice. Very nice. Okay. All right, so now we can get, uh, we have a pull-down menu, not one we like necessarily, uh, and we have a, um, we know what it is, we can from there set the right ascension and declination ourselves. Um, still going to look ugly, but you know, we, we, we're getting there. And then the latitude, we probably need a list of cities, although I don't want to go crazy with the list of cities. Um, so let's take a brief, not a break, but let's go ahead and come up with a list of, of kind of big cities and let's fix our stars to be just the stars that are um, that have Betelgeuse in them uh, and I've said Betelgeuse oh, damn that's the third time he's gonna show up uh, and what's weird here is this is actually not this is just a file that for some reason exists um, let's see uh, oh that's nice this is actually our and declination exactly in the form we need them the third one is magnitude, uh, which we don't need, but nice to have, I guess. Um, so in this case, the the def the, um, the delimiter is space. Uh, the name is going to be the zero one two three fourth address, but there's a problem with that, and we'll see what the problem is here is in a second. And the problem is going to be. Um, aside from the fact that I have no idea what I'm doing. The problem is going to be that um, the it could actually go the the names can go beyond the fourth field. Um, there's several ways to deal with this. I'm going to deal with it in the uh, very ugly way. First of all, we're only going to print it if there is a um, there is a field for, and I'm just going to print join space um, four dollar sign. I think you can even put minus one here, so it just says join the remaining elements of the list. Uh, and of course, we do actually need to finish our function. Where the hell did we go? There we are. Um, okay, that didn't work. Um, so hang on. Print join space four to minus one. All right. The other way to do this is dollar sign. This is the correct way of doing it. Dollar sign number F is the number of fields. All right, looking good. Okay. So now, let's see. We do want our objects to be um, to be referenceable. I guess this is just if we put that as the label, we're fine. Um, so what we really want is 
label is this sucker. And do I need to quote it? Unfortunately, you can't put apostrophes here, but I think backslash 47 will quote it. And then let's bring this a little bit to the left so you guys can see what I'm doing, uh, ugly as it is. And then a backslash 47 here. Um, oh, actually, sorry, we need this colon the join. And then after we're done joining crap, we need other 47. And for right now, I'm going to put a closed one of these suckers. Uh, let's see what this does. Yeah, I knew I was off by somewhere. Okay. Label apostrophe the join condition. Um, and then I need another bracket to end the damn thing. Okay. I'm off by one bracket somewhere. Um, I think I, I put the bracket for the end of the function. I did into the uh, into the thing. Okay. Okay, so this looks good. Label is this. So how, many, how many of these things do we have? Not many. 131. Okay. And then, of course, we need um, the remaining fields, which hopefully will not be as ugly. We have right ascension is going to be dollar sign F0, declination is dollar sign F1, and we're no need to bring in the magnitude. So let's see what this does. And I actually cannot put that there. And oh, is the right ascension in degrees? But that doesn't matter. We can we can, we can do whatever the hell we need with it. Um, this. So label is blah. Right ascension is blah. Declination is blah. Um, if I were feel feeling sprightly, I would def divide. Uh, okay, these are not in order of right ascension. Kind of weird. Um, let me make sure that I think that these... I'm pretty sure this is correct, though. Um, okay, no. It, but we only, yeah, these are in degrees, because we only get to, like, 10%. Um, should I be nice and make this... Now nah, I'll leave it like this. Um... Okay, is this not, this is not an array yet. This is basically a bunch of labels. Uh, this is a bunch of objects. And I think we can, I can get good enough, close enough to this. We'll call it brightstars.js. Haha, see how clever we are? And then we'll go ahead and emacs it trivially so it is an actual array. Uh, or, damn it. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, remove stars dot, um, well actually I have to remove it from the, the load, otherwise it's going to overlap with this. Okay, I think we can do this. And now we should be able to use this hash directly f as, the, because it only is going to look at the label, is our hope. Okay, so we need to, we don't actually have to delete it, we just don't have to use it, but I, it, I don't see no use for it, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And we need to upload. Aha! Uh -huh. You got me there, didn't you? Bright stars will, of course, go to temp. And then I should be able to upload it. Okay. Then... I guess I could have given it the same name, but let's, let's not do that. Okay. So now if I run this, bad things will happen. That's not the kind of bad thing I expected to happen, but okay. So I, forget, I forgot to close off my array here. So, whoa, I did not forget to close off my array here. Oh, there's no commas between these, are there? <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, kind of do need to have commas between them. Um, all right. And this time, instead of redirecting, I want to take a look at it first. Um, yeah, this looks good. I wonder if I can do this. I don't think I can. Yeah. You can't Emacs the standard input. Um, or at least not that way. Uh, so we will put it into, we'll overwrite bright stars. And then we'll go re-edit it on Emacs, where I have to say RR, and it's going to say, oh, you changed it. Okay, this. No comma at the end. 
and that, and then copy to temp and upload. Okay. And today I'm not doing my Pomodoro like I'm supposed to, uh, but that's okay because we are ending in about half an hour anyway. It's actually not okay, but it's just the way it's going to be. Um, so let's go back to Emacs. Uh -huh. Copy bright the new brightstars.js. Temp. Yep, I'm going to overwrite it. I think if you upload a file that has the same name, Replit will also let you... Um, will also up... Uh, very nice. Will also... Yes, replace. Let you do this. Run. Very nice. Very nice. The only thing I don't like is the it's getting right on top of this, isn't it? Um, Poisson or Procyon. I always call it Poisson. I don't know why. Capella. Okay. So now the idea is, of course, we need um, we need right ascension, declination, and latitude boxes, and we also need a cities list, don't we? Um, and by the way, if you're saying, hey, you're kind of stalling here on um, creating the actual formulas, the function that will listen to this and, and update the right ascension and declination boxes, you are absolutely correct in that I'm doing that. Uh, so let's see if we get a list of cities, which I don't think I'm going to have in the astronomy directory, but let's take a look anyway. I probably have one in the map directory. I do not have one in... And of course, cities is plural, so I'm going to do a find minus i name, sit star city star first, and then star c i t i, because that is how you pluralize cities. Um, well, shiny. Um, that's some freaking interesting crap in there, uh, but nothing that we can use, I don't think. And I will less it so it we get past the errors. I really need to get rid of those freaking dot hash things. I think it's because I'm trying to use this on two different machines. Uh, none of these appear to be really good city names. Um, I, I, I know I know GeoNames has one. I know everybody in the world has a, a simple uh, list of city names. I just want to see if I have one already. Uh, there it is. Not where you'd expect it to be, but you know that's kind of normal. Big. Oh, it's. Uh, I didn't even bother to put it in my name. <laughs> Big U.S. cities. Okay, that's not useful. It doesn't have latitude and longitude, among other things. Um. Big areas. That that just looks even worse. Oh, I guess these are cities that have large areas. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska is freaking huge, but apparently not as huge as Sitka, Alaska. Okay, so this is not what we want. This is not the list of uh, cities that we want. Um. So can we get it from our friend? I guess the one way to check to see if there's a correct city list is... Um, okay, wait, 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 wait! Airport codes... Ooh. Does this have... Um, 35? Anywhere! Okay, so what we're looking for is a city, the something that has... Um, Albuquerque and 35 and 35 is the latitude of oh okay not correctly but all right and let's just see if we do okay so we found that one let's see if there's anything else I'm, I'm beginning to think there's not we don't want to over flood our um, our array of choices uh, actually it'd be interesting to see how much it can handle because uh, uh, if they're smart they probably well I don't know if they sort the list because you can match in the middle um, all right so now we're going to use our friend, and we're going to go to the directory of the day. A little directory we create just so we can work with it. Let's go to geonames.org and get like the list of, the, you know, n biggest cities. And there is a download. Okay, uh, free gazetteer data. That's what we need. Yeah, and you can download every fucking city in the world here. Uh, but we don't want to. Um, now, let me be careful here. This does not mean the top 500 cities. It means cities with a population of over 500. 
Um, these are all freaking huge, though. I think they do explain what each one is in the text below, so let's take a look here. Um, so Cities 15,000 is the smallest we can get, and it is the one we actually do want. Um, so let's download it. Magic happens. We go over here. It'll be in. Uh, it'll be until the downloads, unless I've seriously screwed something up. All right, we'll just move it over here. This still may be too many, actually. Unzip it. Let's see how many there are. Twenty-four thousand three. That's not great. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of the zip file. We don't need it anymore. Doesn't really save us any space, though. Okay. It's actually not a binary file, but because they use stupid non-English names, um... Oh, man. Uh, so the, the, I think the second field is the name, and so we, we do have all of the data we need here. Um... And, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do... I'm going to prolify this. Let's... Now, the separator here is a tab, not a comma or a space. I think that will do I'm almost sure that that'll do it. Let's just make sure that by printing the, the ID, which we don't actually need, but just to make sure that we, we get the, yeah, we got it right. Okay. So now let's figure out what we do need from the, uh, the field list, which they have nicely over here. Um, so the second field, 0, 1, 2, we need that. That's going to be our label. Um, and we need the, the, I think the only other thing we need is latitude and longitude. So zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And let's just boogie with that and see what happens. Yeah, uh, they're of course not printing the way we want them to, but that's okay. That is okay. Um, because we have just b bammed them together right now. Alrighty, so this looks like, do we, is there anything else we need from a city? We don't need, like, population or anything, right? Right, right, right. So we can do... Label is this. Uh, okay, which one is, which one is, which one's first? Latitude or they, yeah, they do latitude first. Never-ending struggle to see which one's first. The longitude. And then we're going to close off this, uh, this object. Okay. My kingdom for a... I don't know. Oh. Yeah. And of course, when we actually put in characters, we do need to quote them. So that's always a good thing to do. Okay, label, blah, lat list, long list. Um, the biggest problem here is there are too many cities. If there's more than one Albuquerque, I'll be pissed. That's our Albuquerque, okay. All right, so this is going to go to, um, this is, a, you know, to say Big Cities JS. And then I need to Emacsify it so it actually does what it says. So it, this is not an array yet. Now if I can find where Emacs is, I'll be in good shape. All righty. And this is not in my Git, which is probably for the best. Big Cities. Uh, cities equal blop. Oh yeah, I forgot the commas again, didn't I? All right, hang on. Um, I'm going to use a an Emacs feature here. Query replace reg expression dollar sign being the end of the line. Replace it with a comma space. Not that one, but everything else exclamation point except this one here, and not this one too actually. So now let's see if it no matching parentheses. That's kind of ugly, but I think this is valid JavaScript. Okay. Can I have apostrophes in a JavaScript object when I'm doing this? I've decided I'm actually opposed to apostrophes. So we're going to query replace apostrophes with nothing everywhere. And now, still not happy. Okay, it might just be that Emacs is being a piece of crap today. 
Um, is there any quotation marks or something? Let me do a F2 here. Okay. Um, why are you unhappy now, Mr. Emax? Okay, well, whatever, whatever it's ha unhappy, we're not unhappy. Let's, we think this is going to work. Big cities. And by the way, if when I say big cities, you think big titties, uh, you're just exactly in line with me. Um, I am a pervert too. So let's go ahead and upload this. And this also guarantees that you can't use this to teach children unless you want them to know what, like, I, I assume they know what titties are. I mean, they feed on them when they're born. Um, but yeah, for people who are offended by language, um, someone has to either edit this before you can use it for your little kitties, or, um, or your little kitties are going to hear me say the word titties. And I've said some other stuff on the stream too, so I'm not, it's, it's all pretty bad. Okay, so now we're going to say, now we're actually going to give these things some actual names, because we have two of them, Star City. And again, in both cases, these are optional. These are things that they could choose if they don't want to choose uh, lat you know, latitude, right ascension, and declination uh, from, you know, from the text things that we're going to create in a minute. All right, so now let's go over here. This is, this is going to be bad. Star. Um, for right now, I don't really care about this. So let's see. Um, and what did I say for the city? Autocomplete. Source will, yeah, maybe the cities can be stars too. You know, cities can be stars, man. You can be anything you want to be as a city. Yeah, take me down to Paradise City. Um, that's a song by Two Live Crew, but there's also Two Live Jews, a parody group, uh, that, uh, that does it. Information you do not need. So let's see if we can get... That's not good. Unless I said cities, didn't I? Um, yay, I get to figure out what the hell I did. <laughs> yep. So, the, um, the choice is singular, but... Ooh. Autocomplete not working. Oh. Um, I, I know it's in the big cities file because it's not getting cities defined. All right. Do I have a straight comma in here? Some, there's, there's something like just slightly off. And one way to find it, I'm not going to be able to go through, th there's too many of these. Um, unless I happen to run across a section that's miscolored, because Emacs also recognizes it as... Well, let me go and do F2. Colorize. Nah, this is going to take forever. Um, Alright. So now, we can do something a little trick here, that we might have done before. If this is a valid JavaScript file, we should be able to do this. <gasps> oh, Mother Fuger. Of course, the label should be in quotation marks. And that's a big enough deal that I, I'm going to rewrite the Perl script to do this. So now we got to be careful. Um, so the label has to be in quotation marks. We need a comma after everything. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and put the label in, in backslash 47, which is quotation. And let's put a comma at the end of this, and comma space. Okay, this, this is looking better. Okay. So now this is still not quite right because um, it doesn't have a it doesn't have an array constructor in front of it, but it's much much closer to right, and we can easily fix it with uh, nothing with Emacs. So R R reload. That's looking pretty good. And now, okay, I know what's wrong. <sighs> Sometimes, just not worth chewing through the ropes. 
Uh, I gotta get rid of the apostrophes that are already there to um, to avoid this issue of having. Um, ooh. No, I do not want to save it. I want to reload it. 2020.0121. Bigcities.js. Uh, now. This. Now I'm worried. Uh, because the last time I just sort of blew it off. Cities equals start there, end here. Not good. Oh, actually, hang on. This needs to be not, not there also. Yes. Okay, well, let's see if JavaScript accepts it. All that matters. It does. Okay, so we'll copy it to temp. Now, some of these steps are redundant and unnecessary, but it's nice because um, it makes uploading really a lot easier. For me, at least. So do this. It's going to complain. I want to overwrite. And I want to run. I want to run like an eagle. I think that's actually slack. So now, now the problem here, okay, that, that's really slowing it down. Okay. So if I type in B, C, okay, well there's only, okay, L, L. So here's where I might want to use the, actually that's not too bad. I mean, the problem is it's coming up right in my face, but, you know. And let's take a look at some lesser cities. Yeah, we, we need to move the position of this, but that's not a huge, huge deal. Um, no mama. There are no cities called you mama. Youngsville, Ohio. Oh, fudge. The other problem here is these cities don't have, like, states and countries after them. So it's going to be confusing. There might be more than one Youngstown. There probably is more than one, one Youngstown. All right, let's see if we can fix that. Um, yeah, I know it's not a binary file. So somewhere in here, oh, this is going to be ugly. So I don't think it actually is going to mention, wrong Albuquerque. Uh, yeah, it's not going to mention uh, New Mexico in here. Because... Oh, it is actually going to mention NM. Um, does it mention the country? I think it does, actually. I think it mentions the U.S. also. Um, yeah, okay. I think, we can, I think we can hack this. By the way, normally I would be recording all the stuff, I mean, recording on, you know, cut and pasting or whatever, uh, the stuff I'm doing because you don't want to forget what you're doing. Here, because it's being, it being quote-unquote, taped, um, we don't, we, I don't need to. Um, I mean, I really probably still should be doing it. All right, let's go back over here to, uh, to uh, GeoNames and see feature web, blah, 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 admin, one code. That is what we want. And then we want, no, we want country code also. And then admin one code before that. And because they don't have these things numbered, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 10, I, not in that order. So that's, that's probably 10, unless I mistyped it. And then, now this is going to look ugly for cities that have, like, ugly country names, but, you know, can't do it, can't do anything for, everything for everyone. Yeah, like, because <laughs> they, they don't really have uh, designator codes. Um, I think you're going to have to live with this. Um, I mean, we could really get really fancy here and build up a nice naming convention. Um, really? Even Australia doesn't have decent admin one codes? I find that hard to believe. Maybe I meant admin zero codes. Um... Oh, well, hang on. Oh, no, this is it. This is a state. Yep. Okay. So Albuquerque will have its correct form. Yep, that's that's it. So I probably need to disclaim that at some point. Um, I'm tempted to just put city name and, and country name, uh, but I don't think that is sufficient. I think there will be 
duplicates. Uh, if it's just city name and country name, and it'll be confusing to the people in the United States who are my always my target audience um, because they are going to uh, they are going to not know where they s they don't know where anything is because they're stupid. But aside from that, they're not going to know what's you know they they expect to see a state when giving addresses. So I think I'm okay with this. Um, now you might notice that one thing that's becoming a pain in the ass here is uh, I have to edit with Emacs each time. And so if, if we really were doing this, there might be, you can actually in Perl, if you write a script, or even without a script actually, you can, um, you can fix this. So you can have Perl fix it by itself. Okay. Nope, I didn't want. I wanted JS. Oh, it well, looks fine. Overwrite. Now eh, we should really fuck things up nicely here. Um, upload. Big cities. Replace. Run. Yes, it is. Um, I forgot to go to the. No, I didn't get, forget to go to the. This should be. This should be valid. This should be valid. JavaScript here. Um. Unless there's an other apostrophe somewhere that I'm missing. Or this file is truncated. Um, try it again. Mm, no errors, and yet, so we can still define stars, right? When we try to find cities, it says cities is not defined. No. I don't know why the hell that happened, but okay. Uh, I think Yanguna. People in Australia have stupid city names. Just FYI. Uh, there's actually some place called, oh, let's see if we can find the name of it. Uh, Hegdebrugadugge. There's also places in Wales that have excessively long names. Um... Okay, not crazy about this, but again, 90% of this is a proof of concept. Um, okay, now I said we're going to go until uh, 1830, it's only 1823, but I think this is a good stopping point. Uh, our cities are working, our stars are working. The next big step here will be, of course, to um, when someone actually chooses a city, have it update the right ascension and declination. Uh, when someone chooses, a, uh, or no, sorry, when someone chooses a city, update the latitude. When um, someone chooses a star, update the right ascension and declination automatically. Thank you for watching the stream. I may be back later this afternoon.